So I literally just finished fishing down here in Chattanooga. Oh, you like my camera shell on the truck? That's right, I can carry more stuff in there now. I just caught the biggest fish of my life, 20, almost 25 pound catfish. It was awesome. I was having a great day. We fished all day, I was super tired. It's like 7.15 right now, and I had to stop over here at Best Buy, over here behind me, back there somewhere. And um, I was like, I need to get a microphone for this camera here. So I picked up a microphone, hopefully it sounds good. And would you know it, there's a creek that flows right through here. And I looked over, saw the creek before I stopped, and I was like, nah, I don't need to fish it. Then I looked a little closer, there's little fish swimming around. So I have to fish it. I got no other option. So I'm gonna spend an hour, fish this little creek, see what's in here. I've seen some little shiners. Just wanna check it out, use some ultralight stuff. Hopefully I can catch a few things in an hour. Oh, it's kind of windy. I had to change cameras because uh, my, my uh, storage is full on the other one. Oh, whoa. What was that? There's one. Nope. Came off. Oh, there's some sunfish up in there. Yeah. Got a green sunfish. They live everywhere. Little green sunfish there. Man, these things are aggressive. Oh, even, is that another one? <laughs> Tiny little green sunfish. Using trout magnets, 164th ounce jig head, two pound line on a six and a half foot light rod. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dude, as soon as it hit the water. Green sunfish. Maybe all that's in there, but it's crazy these little ditches. It's been really dry and um, still water in here. There's a ton of shiners though. Man, they are really going after it. As soon as it hits the water, they're just attacking it. Hope people driving by don't think I'm too crazy. Boom. No, maybe those are... Oh, that's a... Uh... I think that's a hybrid cross between green sunfish and bluegill. I see these in ditches a lot. Pretty sure it's a hybrid. I don't think it's a warm mouth and I don't think it's anything else. So. That's neat. Man, they are on it. As soon as it hits the water, I could probably catch 30 fish right here. Like that little guy. Little bitty green sunfish. This would have been good to use for bait today. I should have came here first before I went catfishing. Right, I'm going to try to throw it up under those tunnels. There's just a swarm of fish right here. Watch this. Let's see if they go after it. Oh. Let's see if they go after it right here. As soon as I drop it in, there's fish coming. It's not the shine. There's a lot of shiners swimming around it. They're not really attacking it. There's all kinds of fish in there. There he is. A uh, bluegill. So yeah, I think there's probably some bluegill and green sunfish in here. And uh, I, I find out, or it seems to be when they get in these little ditches and places where they can't really get out, they do crossbreed. Like that last one I just caught. I think that's a, I think that's right anyways. That's what I've just seen. Feisty little guy here. A little bit bigger green sunfish. It's amazing what fish can live in. They can just be anywhere. Biggest one so far. This 
just uh, another green sunfish there. Pretty colored one though. Oh yeah, I got you. Hold on. Really nice. He's a pretty little fish. Just fun little stuff to catch. So this little stream here, it's got a little creek that's flowing. Which way is that flowing? It's actually flowing that way. And a little stream that's coming in from this tunnel. So it's like got two kind of connecting. Going, looks like it's going this way. So let's we'll see if it gets a little deeper down here. <laughs> Guys taking off with it and we're getting a little bit bigger in size all right a little bit, oh hold on buddy where'd you go a little bit bigger green sunfish no telling how many roads and tunnels these little uh creek flows underneath no tell how many fish are in there Oh, it's a little bit deep right here. Oh, there's a turtle. Oh, I think I see a little bit bigger fish. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Hold on there, buddy. Oh, there's a bigger turtle. Whoa. I about walked up on him. He's going out through there now. <laughs> oh, that's a chunky little dude. <laughs> that's funny. That's a cool looking little green sunfish. There's a bunch of fish, they're all looking at me. The turtles are coming back too. I don't think they're used to people fishing here. The turtle, I don't know what he's doing. He just keeps staring at me though. Pretty good sized turtle. Oh, he turned right into that brick. There he goes, get back, get back in there. Oh, there's some decent little panfish in there. I don't get snagged on a turtle here. There he is. Fat little dudes. Bunch of them, but they're healthy. This turtle just keeps staring at me. Eyeballing me. I'm gonna try to cast up under there. Hopefully this turtle don't grab it. And There's a bunch of logs and stuff. Hopefully they don't get stuck on it. There's a fish. I think he's a little bit better. Yeah, the biggest one. Pretty strong little green sunfish. All right, this turtle's starting to get on my nerves. Whoa, yeah, a bright colored one there. Nice. 15 minutes of fishing so far. 15 minutes of fishing. Pretty good time. I definitely enjoy catching random things, seeing what's going out, what's out there, finding these turtles that won't leave me alone, catching all kinds of green sunfish. Uh, let's see what's down this tunnel. Oh wow, that tunnel goes a long way. It's dark all the way, and it's probably about a foot and a half of water. It's a lot, it's good, pretty good amount of water. Wonder what could be growing in there. All right, I'm gonna see if this turtle will eat this thing. Oh, this turtle, he was like, keep staring at me everywhere I go. Let's see if he'll grab this uh, fish. Nope, he went back in the other hole. He goes in there, then he comes back. It's right there. Oh, he almost had it, he almost had it. Come on. Oh, grab it, stupid turtle. There you are, there you are. 
Man, I hate to get in front of that thing. Hate to get hit by those pinchers. All right, maybe he'll go away. All right, I'm glad I got that out of my system. I just had to check the little place out. I, I fished literally exactly 20 minutes, um, about 50 yards of this creek. I don't. It goes under a long tunnel that way. It goes under a tunnel and goes in behind a fence that way. And um, just all the little stuff that could be right here in the middle of town, right in the middle of Chattanooga. Next time you got 20 minutes, go find you a little stream, get an ultralight rod. Don't matter if you look silly, stand on the side of the road. Just get out there and do it and have some fun. Thanks for watching.